Good evening. Thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 19th day in the month of August 2022. I am Grace Stalkers and Yekati Fox headlines. Senator Kalu never encountered unknown gunmen during war term, says spokesman. No resumption till our salaries within period of strike are paid, Asu insists. President Bwari in Medjugorje tells security forces to totally eliminate terrorists. We'll take our shares right back with the details and many more. Stay connected. The biggest bang of the season is about to go down. It's the ABN TV Service Awards 2022 at Sheraton's Hotels, Abuja. Experience this smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermoto Oil is as durable as Titanic. Welcome back. Now, the details. Otto's Okalu campaign organization says that the chief whip of the Senate never had an encounter with the gunmen during his what to what tour in Ohafia local government area. In a statement by the spokesperson of the campaign organization, Sonny Idika, on Friday morning, warned those peddling such rumors against the chief whip of the Senate to disease from doing so. President Mamadou Bari has been appointed as the chairman of the presidential campaign council as the campaign kicks off in September ahead of the 2023 general elections. A party source told Daily Post that a decision was reached following the meeting between the presidential candidate of the party, Asiwaju Bola Tinibu, and the governors elected on the platform of the party, on Wednesday in Abuja. The All Progressive Congress in River State has dragged the Independent National Electoral Commission, the People's Democratic Party, its governorship candidates, Sim, Babura, and 31 others, before a federal high court still in Port Harcourt, over non compliance to Electoral Act. The APC is praying that the court should disqualify all the candidates of the PDP for the 2023 general elections for delaying to forward the registrar con containing the names of their candidates to the Independent National Electoral Commission within 30 days as required by law. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party for the 2023 general elections, Mr. Peter Obi, has accused the opposition of insinuating fake news and misinformation against him using social media. ABN TV reports that the statement might be in response to increasing complaints and allegations against the team and supporters of Mr. Peter Obi, known as the Obedient. But in a series of tweets via his Twitter handle, Mr. Obi said oppositions have taken to trolling and misinformation and later turned back to blame the Labour Party and its supporters. The Academic Staff Union of Universities on Thursday said it will not call off its strike until the salaries arrears of its members were paid. The university lecturers also said they would not teach students to make up for the six months they had been on strike if the federal government failed to pay for the period of strike. The union's national president, Professor Emmanuel Osodike, disclosed this in a response to a statement by the Minister of, of Education, Adamu Adamu, that the federal government would not coincide to ASU's demands for the backlog of salaries withheld within the period. The National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, has revoked the broadcast license of 52 broadcast stations across the country over indebtedness to the regulatory commission. The stations were owing the commission 2.6 billion naira since 2015. The debtor stations include Africa Independent Television, AIT, and its sister radio station, Ray Power FM, Silver Bay Television, and 49 other stations across the country. President Mohamed Ubari has called on security agencies to take the fight to terrorist hideouts and ensure that they completely elim are eliminated. He gave the directive in Medjugorje, the Bono State Capital, at an event to mark World Humanitarian Day. Tonto DK has disclosed that she would not be returning to Nollywood after the governorship election in River State. Speaking with BBC News Pigeon, Tonto said she will not return to acting even if her party loses the governorship election in River State. 
The federal government has again threatened that members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, who are currently on strike, will not receive salary. Adamu Adamu, the Minister of Education, said lecturers would not be paid for the six months they are absent from work. He disclosed that the measure would serve as penalty over the behavior of ASU. The management of Gombe State University on Thursday urged 100 level students to resume next week Monday. According to a statement dated Thursday, which was made available by the deputy registrar of the institution, Musa Saki, the 100 level student will resume on August 22nd, 2022. The federal government has asked students to take legal actions against the Academic Staff Union of Universities for compensation over the time lost since the university teachers began their latest round of strike. Education Minister Adamu Adamu said this on Thursday while fielding questions from reporters at the 47th section of the State House Ministerial Briefing, organized by the Presidential Communication Team at the Aso Rock Villa in Abuja. While on the foreign scene, London's Transport Network ground to a halt on Friday as train and bus workers held strike over pay and conditions. The latest in a summer of labor market disputes as double-digit inflation eats into wages. While in sports, head coach of the home-based Super Eagles Salusu Yusuf says that the 2023 African Nations Championship final qualification tie against the Black Glasses of Ghana is not about revenge. The home-based Eagles will be guests to Ghana in the first leg build for August 28 in Accra, with the reverse feature scheduled for the NKO Abiola National Stadium in Abuja on September 3rd. And this brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we go, a recap of our major headlines. Carlo never encountered unknown gunmen during war tour, says spokesman. No resumption till our salaries within period of strike are paid, Asu insists. President Bari in Meduguri tells security forces to totally eliminate terrorists. These and many more you follow platforms, just log on to www.abntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on our social media platforms being displayed on your screen. I am Grace Stokers and you can tell us and I trust this safe.